In this problem we have a door that weighs 100 pounds and is 5 feet long and 3 feet wide. There's a cable that holds it open at a 20 degree angle. The cable can only support 70 pounds before it snaps. If we want to make a graph of the tension or F in the cable versus X which is the distance the cable is attached in the X direction from the point O. And we want to figure out at what values of X can the door be safely held open. To start this problem, let's begin with a free body diagram looking down the X direction. So we're going to look at the side of the door. In our free body diagram, we've got hinges down here, and the hinges might act in some arbitrary vertical and horizontal direction. We don't care about that. The problem isn't asking us the force on the hinges. We care about the force on the rope. And we've got the second part would be gravity acting right down the center of mass of the door. So we'll call that our weight. And then the third force, of course, is the tension in rope AB. Let's do the sum of moments in the x direction. And the sum of moments has to equal zero, and we don't need to include the forces of the hinges because we're starting out at point O, there's no lever arm there. We do have gravity, we do have the weight of the door, and the door and that weight acts at a horizontal distance of 1.5 feet times the cosine of 20 degrees. So I'll include that in my sum of moments. I've used a negative sign. It's a clockwise moment, so negative. The other moment we have is in the counterclockwise direction. It's due to the cable, of course. This one's a bit trickier, and we'll need to use a cross product because we've got components of the rope in the x, y, and z direction. So let's start by drawing a lever arm from point O to point B on that axis. It's the cross product of ROB with the force AB, the, the tension, and I'll write a subscript X here just to denote that we're dealing with the moment only in the X direction. We should find that this term is positive because the cross product from this perspective is counterclockwise. To compute this cross product, we'll first need to define ROB and FAB. ROB, if we look at it from this perspective, ROB it's parallel to the yz plane, so it acts at a distance of zero in the x or the i hat direction. It moves to the right a distance of three feet times the cosine of 20, and it moves upward three feet sine 20 in the k hat direction. FAB is the ratio of RAB divided by the magnitude of RAB, and RAB, if we look from the yz plane, RAB comes out a value of positive x in the i hat direction. It acts in the negative j hat direction by a value of negative 3 feet cosine 20. And in the k hat direction, it goes upwards to the distance of 4 feet minus the 3 feet sine 20, or this length right here. The magnitude of RAB is simply the square root of the sum of squares of each of these three components. The cross product of ROB with FAB is the determinant of this matrix. But remember, we only care about the x component of the moment, or the i hat direction. So to compute the determinant of this matrix, it's the product of these two terms minus the product of these two terms. So here's the x component of the cross product. And notice the negative sign cancels, and we get a positive. We add the two terms. So here's a final expression for my sum of moments, which equals zero. Again, we've got a clockwise moment due to the weight of the door. The weight uh, we know is 100 pounds for the door. Well, what this allows me to do is substitute in RAB for a value of x that satisfies the equation. So this is how I would solve for a value of x, which, which means the maximum distance away from the right-hand side that the rope could support before it snaps. So you can imagine the further away X is from the right side of the door, the higher the tension because we need to maintain the same components of the force in the two directions. To solve the problem, let's use a program like Engineering Equation Solver. And I've keyed in values for theta, the weight of the door, and the maximum force that that rope can withstand. I've also included the X, the Y, and the Z components for ROB. And I've also included the x, y, and z components for r, a, b. And again, the magnitude is just the uh, square root of the sum of squares of each component. And here are the forces x, y, and z components for f, a, b. And finally, here are my sum of moments in the x direction, which must equal zero to maintain static equilibrium.
If I run it, what I come up with for a value of f of 70 pounds, I get a value of x of about 3.8 feet. So what this says is I could move point A away from the side of the door by a value of about 3.8 feet. If it's any longer than that, the rope would snap because it can only support 70 pounds. So this is what a graph of the force as a function of x would look like. If I come over 70 pounds, again we see this value of 3.8 feet. Anything larger than that and the rope would snap.